I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator Myths. A series where you guys ask me questions, give me challenges, or tell me myths that you guys have about the game, and I try to answer them in this video. We have a lot of good ones to go through today, so let's get it started. Before we start today's video, we have a very special debunking by one of the people who actually is involved with the Yandere Simulator game. It has to do with Oka saying not while she's here. If you guys don't remember what the myth was, I'll put it on the screen right now. If you get the glowing skull in the occult club, join the occult club and join the activities just before 5.30. Then the leader will say, not while she's here. Then if you turn around, the creepy girl from the computer will appear. So I proceeded to try that. I did the Easter egg and all that. And I talked to Oka right before 5.30 and nothing worked. I thought I was doing something wrong. I thought that was actually in the game. I said that the myth was debunked and it wasn't in there. But it is officially debunked because the voice actress of Oka said this. As Oka's voice actress, I'm glad to hear you're gaining more of a liking to her voice. Also, I never recorded a line for not while she's here, so it's definitely not real. Okay, you can't debunk a myth any more than that. The person who voiced Oka said that she never recorded a line that had anything to do with not while she's here. So that is 100% debunked. And yes, I do like Oka's voice now. At first, I didn't like it that much. I didn't like Budo's voice and Oka's voice. Oka's voice did grow on me, but Budo, oh man, that fuckboy, I don't think it grew on me yet. I don't think it ever will, but we'll see. Let's start the show. This first question is actually a very popular one that I get hundreds of times, if not thousands of times. It is... Yandere Simulator Myths. Change the day to Friday, then kill Senpai, then burn his body. At the end of the day, will Osana-chan still share her feelings to him? There we go, it is now Friday, and then I have to kill Senpai. The only way I know how to do that and incinerate his body is by turning on the Cyrano Easter egg. Where's that at? All right, C, there you go, perfect. Now we just gotta fast forward time and wait for Fuckboy to walk up the stairs and then we can glitch him out and carry his body to the furnace. Okay, here's Senpai, walk up those stairs. Oh my God, he's sandwiched between these two losers. Now oh, whatever, direct hit, we're MLG snipers. We got him right between these two fucktards. That is so awesome, I'm that dude. I can't believe I got a direct hit on Senpai, and there was two people that were sandwiching him. But so, whatever. Was we're gonna dump his proof? body in the furnace. I don't think it's very funny. There we go. Don't waste my time like this. Oh, wait! That's right! You can't incinerate his body because it glitches out. I totally forgot about that. You can't even incinerate his body. But, a lot of people ask anyway, what if you kill Senpai? Will Osana-chan still confess her feelings? So let's restart this. I forgot that it glitches out when you throw him in the incinerator. Let's restart it, kill him, and just hide his body. We don't even need to incinerate it. And then we'll see what happens at the deadline. All right, wait for him to get up the stairs. All right, perfect. He's the last one up. Boom! No! No! That is bullshit. Stairs were cock-blocking me. Well, they won't cock-block me this time! Yeah! All right, grab that body. Oh, shit. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it! No! Okay, let's go. We're gonna go inside the bathroom over here. There we go. And then the teacher's gonna think that it's a prank. Oh, she's not. The police are coming. Damn it. Whatever, it's Friday. We are gonna open this up, and then we're just gonna keep Senpai so, in here. was this just a prank? Yes, it was just I a prank. I don't think it's very funny. Drop him right don't in the toilet. Don't waste my time like this. Damn, again. that's a shitty way to go. Okay, should we even clean up this blood? We're not gonna get caught anyway, so let's just fast forward time and then let's see if Osana-chan confesses her love and then we can debunk this killing senpai myth once and for all. The police arrive at school. The police discover the corpse of senpai. The police are unable to locate any murder weapons. The police question Yandere-chan but cannot link her to any crimes. The police do not have enough evidence to perform an arrest. The police investigation ends and students are free to leave. And Eri-chan stalks Senpai until he's returned home safely, and then returns to her own home. And it's Friday, we're at home, let's go to sleep, and then see the ending result. Oh, it just restarts. Of course it just restarts! There is no ending message. Yandere Dev did not implement that, so all the hundreds and thousands of comments asking about Senpai and Osana-chan confessing her love to him, it's not in the game yet. That myth is debunked. Hopefully, that cleans up a lot of the myths that are in the comment section. On to the next one. Next myth is... Now I'm kind of curious about this. What would happen if you tell a student to distract Infochan? Would something happen? Okay, that's an easy one. All we need to do is talk to a student and tell them to distract Infochan. So let's talk to Saki, because Saki is so cool. Distract, 
Infochan. Nope. We can't even do it. We can do it with Senpai, though. We can view his info, and then you see right there, it says distract. But if you hover over Infochan's name, you can't do anything. So, no, that was an easy debunk. You cannot distract Infochan onto the next one. Okay, I think I got one. Kakona still takes her call about compensated dating, right? Step one, kill any student, but don't kill Kakona. Step two, make sure someone gets the teacher. Step three, pour blood on Kakona. Will the teacher attack Kakona after seeing the blood on her? Okay, I think I have a good strategy to fix this one. So let's grab this trusty Naifu and this hose Laifu. There we go. And I know that you can fill up the blood automatically by pressing one of the buttons on the keyboard. But I happen to like mopping up this blood, all right? Okay, there you go. That should be the last of the blood. So let's dip it one more time. That should be enough blood for the bucket. Okay, we gotta go fast because Kakona is gonna take her call pretty soon. So now we need to kill someone in front of a teacher's pet. And then the teacher needs to run into the view of where Kakona is taking her phone call. That's actually harder than it sounds because... How are we gonna get a teacher's pet and a student that I need to kill in the vicinity of where Kakona takes her call? That's what I'm thinking right now. Like, I don't think that's actually possible. But you know what? We're gonna try. We're gonna see what's up. Let me pass these little occult club fucks. How the hell can you see me, man? You only have one eye. Uh, I think this red-headed dude is a teacher's pet. Ah! Kill him. Oh, shit! Happening. I forgot about Senpai. Somebody. Screw no. my life! No. I won't get Senpai's love! I'm sorry. I'll kill him right here. Boom! Oh, shit! Kakona saw! God, we gotta pour blood! Pour blood first! Pour blood! Pour it! Pour it! No! Kakona's running away! She's probably going to Shisuda Town to do her compensated dinner right now, you filthy whore! Oh my god, we gotta try that one more time. It took me so long to do that, too! Oh shit, Kakona's phone's vibrating. Go, 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 go! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We can make it. We can make it before Kakona. Yes! Do it, do it! Yes! Got it! Come on, drag the body before Kakona gets here. Do it! Okay, we did it. Okay, cool. We did it! Teleport to the roof. Will the teacher do anything? No? Where's the teacher at? There's a teacher! Pour that blood! Yeah! So, is this just a prank? <laughs> come this? on, teacher, look at her! Is this blood? Where did all this blood come from? Oh, come on, do something! Like what? Really? The teacher just ah. ran back inside? Why? Get the hell out of here! All right, so that myth is debunked. The teacher does not attack Kakona after she sees her with blood poured on her. I had the teacher literally standing right under where we put the blood shower right on Kakona. So the teacher cannot do anything. On to the next myth. If you kidnap Oka, will they shut down the club? All right, let's talk to Oka. Let's get her to follow us. There we go. Man, I always feel bad for doing something to Oka because she seems like the most innocent one. Maybe it's because she's always sad all the time. Like, she looks so depressed and sad. I feel bad doing all this stuff to her, but whatever. It's for the myths. It's not because I hate her. It's because we're trying to debunk these myths, right, Oka? Sorry, I have to be somewhere right now. No, 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 no. You're not gonna pull that shit on me. You are following me, and you are gonna like it. So get your ass in here so I can tranquilize you. Shut this door first, and for bam There we go. So let's drag her all the way to this magical box, even though she cannot fit in there realistically. And let's fast forward time. Let's go home. Idari-chan stands at the school gate and waits for Senpai to leave school, yada yada yada. Idari-chan waits until the clock strikes midnight. Under the cover of darkness, Yandere-chan travels back to school and sneaks inside the main school building. Yandere-chan returns to the instrument case that carries her unconscious victim. She pushes the case back to her house, pretending to be a young musician returning home from a late night show. Yandere-chan drags the case down to her basement and ties up her victim. Exhausted, Yandere-chan goes to sleep. Okay, so I guess we're not going to see the body until tomorrow, but let us see what happens at the occult club. Okay, the occult club members are still here. They're all reading their books. They really don't give two shits about Oka. I do feel bad. So let's go back to the house and then see if Oka is down there doing anything or if it'll say that the occult club is disbanded. No, I'm reading it. None of the text said that it disbanded. The leader of the occult club is dead. The remaining members of the club decide to disband the club. But is she really dead though? No, she's in the basement. Why would you say she's dead when you don't know for sure if she's not? Cause I'm looking at her right here. She's not dead. But I mean, we're torturing that ass. Obviously she's gonna be dead in the future. But hopefully that answers your question. The club does disband. They assume that she is dead. 
on to the next one. I've heard a rumor going around saying that if you kill Oka in the occult club, wait until the next day, pull out your camera in the room and take a picture. You'll see Oka's ghost. I don't know, maybe you should test it out. You guys know what that smells like? It smells like some more of that bullshit! But whatever, let us get Oka, and then we are gonna kill that ass. Where is she? There she is. And we're gonna talk to you. Follow me, Puriz. I'll be right here by the furnace, so it'll be an easy kill, easy cleanup. Just gonna wait for everybody to go away. Actually, you know what? The students don't even notice. Look at this shit. Boom! None of the students even care. So let us drag that ass over there. Look, an occult club member. Hey, I got your leader right here. You ain't gonna do shit about it, are you? Yeah, you can't even see anything with your eye patch on. Dump that body. And then I'm gonna clean this up so I don't have any avidons. Because I want to get away with this. I want to make sure that we don't see any pictures in the occult club. Because what if there is a ghost picture? What if there is a ghost picture of Oka, and the thing I'm smelling isn't bullshit? It's just me being a dumb dick. There we go. Last order of business is dumping that. I don't have any more weapons on me. And activate the furnace. And the myth said to wait for one more day. So I'm going to fast forward time, and we're going to go home. There we go. It is a brand new day. And let's see if Oka is in the occult club and she wants to say, hey! I doubt it. Wait. What the? Hold on. I can't even open any of the doors. It's because the club has disbanded, huh? Wait. I'm in here. Yes. Yeah, you can't get in there, but you can debug yourself in here. So let's take a picture and see if Oka is right here. Nope. Not there. Not there. Not there. Not there. In the skull. Maybe if I activate the Undertale Easter egg on the skull. Let's activate that and then go back in the occult club. Take one more picture. Nope. No Oka. There is no Oka inside this occult club. It is now literally the next day. I did kill Oka, dispose of her body, all that, and she's not in here. So that myth is debunked. On to the next one. Can you successfully use telekinesis on the teacher right before she tries to tackle you? That's a really cool challenge to do, my friend. So we are gonna get our little guinea pig, Midori Gorinu, and show and tell the teacher, because that's how you get her to come up on the rooftop. So let's teleport real Surprise, quick. Surprise, motherfucker. Go, perfect. How could, you? how could you? Shut your ass up and come 1v1 me on this rooftop. Right now. All right, Undertale Easter Egg activates. Oh yeah. I think telekinesis is E, right? Press the E on the keyboard. All right, let me see if I can do it. Can I do it? Can I do it? No! Damn, that happened so fast. There is just no way. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to try that one more time, but that happened so fast. Like, the key, you know, it usually pops up above their head. It was, like, a split second right before she got me. That is going to be tough. Let's go, baby. Come get me. Come get me! Oh, I almost did it. You guys saw that, right? Like, I was halfway to using my telekinesis because she went behind me for some reason, but then she got me again. I'm going to try that again. You know what? Maybe if I put this bucket in front of me, she'll have to go around me, and then I can use telekinesis real quick right before she gets me. Hopefully she goes around the bucket, unless she says fuck it and just tackles me. Come on. I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you. Get it. No. Ah, oh, how am I going to do this? Okay, maybe the roof isn't such a good idea. I need to go somewhere else that I can have like an advantage to using the telekinesis right before she gets me. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn into Sans real quick, grab her body, and then show it. And then I'm gonna be right here and use it. Come on, come get me. Come get me. Use it, use it, use it. Oh, I did it. <laughs> I grabbed that bitch's ass. Let's go. You whore ass teacher, you like that? Dribbling you like a damn basketball. Yeah, you can't get me. Grabbed you right before that happened. That was so sweet. Oh, man. I want to do that one more time in a different area. But that was so cool. All right, let me see if I can try to get her in the garden area. Okay, come on. Run, 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 run. Oh, shit. Okay, we are going to try to avoid the teacher. Let me turn into the Undertale mode real quick. There we go. And when she comes up here, I'm going to teleport down the stairs. Let's go. Come on, we got this. Go, 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 go. Go to the garden area, my man. Please don't get me. I can't handle the pressure. I can't handle it. Oh, shit. No. Go. We can make it. We're not going to make it. You talking get to this? Oh. I got her again. Yeah. <laughs> that is freaking epic. 
So yes, that myth is true. You can use telekinesis right before the teacher gets you. I got her twice in two different settings. One where she was chasing me and one where there was a desk between us. If you guys want to try it, I dare you. I challenge you to try it in different locations. It is pretty tough, but you can do it. I believe in you guys. On to the next one. What happens if you push Kakona off the rooftop into the dumpster, use the bad time ability, the one where you can move people around in midair, throw some students into the dumpster with that ability, fill the dumpster with trash. What happens? Will the trash be able to cover all the dead bodies? That is a very unique myth. I have never got anything related to throwing off people, you know, and covering up the bodies. I wonder that too. Like, when the police come here, I wonder if the, you know, the trash and the dumpster can like cover up the bodies and they won't search that or whatever but let's try to move it in the perfect location wait 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 did i move it too far it usually tells you when you can uh stop moving it but it's not telling me anything that's weird oh there you go there you go there you go right there perfect okay let's open this bad girl up and in order for kakona to go onto the rooftop we are going to have to listen in on one of the conversations on the roof that she has with Midori. So let's go to class real quick and then fast forward it to lunchtime. Damn, I have like no stats here. Let me change that real quick. There you go. And I made a mistake. She wasn't talking to Midori. She's talking to Saki. Oh, well, it's nothing. If you don't want to talk about it, that's fine. But remember, I'm your friend and I'd never judge you for anything. I guess there's one thing I want to talk about. Hey, talk about Shisuda Town, you ho! Ever since my mom died, my dad's been drinking a lot. Sometimes, when he's drunk, he comes into my room and... Talk about compensated dating, you ho! Forget I said anything. I really, really don't want to talk about it. Okay, now that we learned that new info, let us restart the day. And then we can leave a note. Wait, no, before we leave the note, let us push that dumpster one more time for the homie DJ Screw. So let's grab that and push that to the edge. I am very curious about this. I hope that the police can't find the bodies because that would be awesome if they couldn't. And let's open that up. And we'll just keep the trash can there. So let's go back inside the school and then leave the note to Kakona. Uh oh, we gotta hurry. She's gonna go to her locker. Leave the notes. I want to speak to you about domestic abuse. Please meet me at the rooftop right now. All right, finish. Whoo, perfect. Who? she didn't even see me. Good. Open that bad huh? girl up. What's this? You know what that is. Read it, girl. Read it out loud. Maybe I should meet them. Yeah, maybe you should. Okay, I will meet you on the roof, milady. Let's go up there. I keep pressing the other office. I'm trying to get to the roof, but my fat finger keeps pressing 8, which teleports me into that room, and 9 teleports me to the roof. So let's wait for Kakoni. There you are. It's 7.28. I told you to meet me at the rooftop at 7.15. Damn, late ass. Well, whatever. We can't judge. We're just going to wait for her to get over there, and there we go. Bye-bye. <laughs> Perfect. Now let's get Midori to come over here. There she is. I can see her from the background. And then we're going to turn into Sans. Actually, do we even need to? I don't even think we need to. We just need to cover up the bodies. We don't need to turn on the Undertale Easter egg. So let's dump her in there too. Let's push your ass too. Uh, yeah! Bye-bye! Uh, <laughs> okay, now let's go cover up the dumpster with the trash bags. There we go. Kakona and Midori are there. I mean, they were trashy, but I didn't know they were this trashy. You know what I'm saying? So let's dump that in there. Perfect. There wasn't that much trash, though. That was kind of unbelievable. But let's close this, and then let's fast forward to the end of the day, and then we'll see what happens. The school day has ended. Teachers must walk through the school until any lingering students to leave. While walking around the school, a teacher discovers a corpse. Where? What corpse? Was somebody dumpster diving? Were one of the teachers looking through the trash? Damn bums. The teacher immediately calls the police. The teacher informs the rest of the faculty about our discovery. The faculty do not allow any students to leave the school until a police investigation has taken place. The police arrive at school. The police discover the corpse of Kakona Haruka. The police are unable to locate any murder weapons. The police question Yandere Chan but cannot link her to any crimes. The police do not have enough evidence to perform an arrest. The police investigation ends and students are free to leave. You know what I don't get? How did the teacher find the bodies anyway? And how did they not find Midori's body if that was the case? If they could find Kakona's, then couldn't they find Midori's too? 
But whatever, hopefully that answers your question. The reason I didn't turn on the Undertale Easter Egg mod is because there was already two bodies inside of the dumpster anyway, so it wouldn't have made any difference if there was two bodies, three bodies, or four bodies. But hopefully that answers it. The trash does not cover up the dead bodies. The teacher still finds it. But the police cannot link you to any crime, so you can get away with murder if you dump them in there. On to the last myth of the day. Here's a glitch. Poison Kakona and crouch in front of her before she falls to the ground. She will still be alive. There she is. Showtime, baby. What you eating for lunch? What is that? Okay, got some sushi rolls. Got a little bit of rice. I see you, girl. Oh, there he is. Oh, Senpai. When will you notice how I feel about you? Okay, I've made up my mind. I'll tell him how I feel this Friday. I hope he accepts my feelings. I almost don't want to crouch in front of her. I don't want to save this hoe. She's trying to steal my senpai. Okay, so we need to do this right before she falls to the ground. So we need to be just right in front of her, I guess? Or I don't know. Well, we'll see how she is. I'm just going to make sure I crouch right in front of her, though. Yeah, choke on that. She's choking on that like the D's too big. Yeah, choke on that D. Choke on it, girl. <laughs> That's a very good choking animation, though. There we go. No? What the hell? What's going on? I can't save her. Do I have to like crouch right here where she falls over? Probably, huh? So I'm gonna restart it and then crouch right here. Okay, so she fell right about here. So I'm gonna crouch right there. Okay, cool. And then it's showtime. Let's see if she does anything. All right, all right. She's choking, she's choking, she's choking. Come on, fall, 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 fall. Oh, what? Damn it! I guess I'm not in the right spot. Okay, I just reread the myth and it oh, says crouch. It doesn't say go prone. Oh, it doesn't say go into crawl mode. So I think I've been doing okay. it wrong this whole time. Let me try it out real quick. So let's put it in cinematic. And then I'm just gonna crouch. So that's just one time. So crouch. And then hopefully I can save her this time. I'm just gonna look at her. I'm gonna stare into her eyes. My lovely angelic eyes will save her life. Won't it, Kakona? Don't die on me. Don't die on me, girl. Come on! No! What? It doesn't even matter! Come on, Kakona. I can't get any closer than this. Oh, there you go! Got it! Got him, coach! She was choking, and then she was like, Psych! I ain't dying! And then she left. Okay, that's pretty cool. Gotcha, bitch! Alright guys, that's gonna do it for today's episode of Yandere Simulator Myths. If you guys have any more questions, comments, or challenges that you want potentially featured in the next video, please leave a comment in this comment section below, and I will try the most creative and unique ones. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!